back at the campsite and we're going to test out now. Let's just clear the table. Get this dragonfly fired up and see how she runs. Okay, so I bought this for the simmer control. I've already got an MSR XGX GX or something it is. This is the dragonfly. Legs fold away. I don't know much about it. I bought it second hand. Think it was a bit of a deal. And then realised I had to go and spend another £34 on the uh, pump, the fuel pump for the Dragonfly because it's different to the uh, ordinary MSR one I've, well, the, the one I've already got and the difference is that's the difference so I thought I was driving a bit of a bargain, sort of it's about 50 quid off eBay I ended up spending another 30, uh, £34 on this um, so I'm thinking, well you can buy them brand new with the pump and the bottle for about 124 So maybe a bit of a booby. And you've got the foldy bit underneath. And this piece here, this cloth seems to keep coming off all the time. So if anybody knows about it, glued on. And there's the piece of metal there. And if you can see that, can I show you that? Hold on. Here. Anyway. If anybody knows how that fixed one's there properly, that might be right, I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to fry it up for the first, I've never used one of these before. And then I'm going to do another video where I'm going to transfer the the dog cap, whatever you call it. I bought it from a, a company into this and see if it fits or not. So we'll give it a go. So I'll put, the, I'll put this in the bottle first. So I've got a small, so I've got several of these bottles, or three of these bottles. And that's why I thought, ooh, I'll get the Dragonfly, which has got a simmer control, and that way I'll save myself some money. Didn't work. Hey. So give me a sec, just, just set this up. I'll show you that, putting that in there is quite... So you put the, you put the suction pipe in first, and then... Just nice and tight. That's it. And then what you do, make sure that it's that side. Oh, sorry, can you see that? So the clip's this side, and then <clears throat> push him home. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, that right there. Back out again, put him home, push that down, and then he clips in. And that's where it sits like that now. Okay. Give it a few primes. You get about 30 pumps. This is my first trial of this, see what it's like. Be interesting. Like I said, I only bought it for the simmer control. do turn this one on then what you want to do then is release a bit of fuel into the main one get my lighter just to prime it turn it off brilliant I got gas There we go. Okay, so when you get when you buy the pump, you do get shields with it, a windshield and a base shield, and you get a little bit of um, Vaseline or grease that you need for it. But when I opened it, it was already split and all over the place, so I wasn't too bothered. I've got a spare anyway. Right. The other one's got a, a tube, which is a piggy tube on it, so it's 
be interesting. Like I said, I've not tried this before. I don't do sure. If I'm doing it wrong, please leave a comment. Comment, not comment. Comment down below. I don't know where the, I don't know where the gas chamber is or whatever. So, is it? It's nearly. Oh, there we go. Too bad, someone said they're really noisy, but the XG's a lot more noisier. It's pretty noisy. <laughs> so I'll get it warm and then I'll go down to simmer. Pretty good. It's not bad. A bit annoying that bottle doesn't sit flat, but if I use the cap, if you can see that, the bottle. Put the cap on that and light it by flat then. Can you see that? Oh, I've got the bottle propped up with the cap. Pretty good, I like it. Pretty easy to light. Let's see how low I can get it. Yeah, it's all like that. I will thrash the frying pan on and see, see how she cooks. Okay, I'm just going to turn it around a bit. Let's set up there. I've got the MSR. No, I haven't. This is the uh, GSI. Folding frying pan. Titanium mini, which I'm going to cook some chicken on. Mm. I'll do an onion. You don't want to see all this. You've seen all this before. So I'm just going to get an onion ready and then we'll go from there. Fires rub a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> it's got to go in. Wow. I like the fact that the stand is really wide. Makes a lot stabler. So that's a, I don't know what that is, I think that's a 30 centimetre. I'm going to simmer these now because I'm going to burn them otherwise, so I'll turn it down. With that. I love the simmer control, which I think you need. And now I'll cut this chicken up, smooth out it quite a bit. Be interesting much how the, how the fuel lasts as well, because the other one is either all or nothing. So I like that as well, I like the other stove. Turn the heat up a bit. That makes it a bit more noisier. Can you hear me?
Absolutely love it. Right, there's that quick through. So, quite noisy. Not really bothered, but if you're a bit of stealth camping, I think they'd hear you. I will try the uh, cap on it. We've got that full pelt at the moment, so I can get everything cooked. So we'll see what it's like when it comes to simmering, which we know is quite quiet. So I want the chicken cooked through thoroughly. So thoroughly, so whatever. I forgot to mention as well that it's uh, November the 11th, 2018. I've stopped the meat in the middle, it's 11 o'clock. Seems to help it cook a bit better. Woo! Woo! I'm add bulky mix. Get this mixed up and then that is loud, isn't it? I'm going to try the, the door cap on this. I'll show it in a sec. I'm going to simmer this. I think the cap as well would make the flames spread better. Blend of seven rice and grains. Must be good for you. So when you thought it was a bit watery, that's why. When the rice goes in, it does sup it up a bit. Okay, we'll let that simmer now. Today. And I've got some pre-veg to go in then. And I think they've been pre James have been, they've been part boiled already, which is, um, Whatever, and then organic carrots, parsnips, greens, and uh, courgettes. I have noticed that, I mean, this is what I'm doing, like a sort of a review on this, that if you've got this down pretty low, the heat transference from the top of the bowl, or the base, the bowl there, up, when you're on really low simmer, you're not getting much of a bubble. So I think the distance is quite high. So you've got to have it up more than just simmer. If you boil in the kettle, then maybe so. So you need a bit more. I'd say something like to get a sort of a, a simmering. You understand what I mean? Let's give it a second. We'll have a look. The bubble. See, so just to simmer. Now this was the bottle was filled. This was filled to the proper line. There's a line it tells you here, just there. So we'll see how much is left afterwards. Yeah. I did. This is the GSI folding monster frying pan. Very good. Right, we'll let that simmer away for a bit. Mm. 
I don't mind the beans being El Dante, I quite like them. They make your teeth squeak. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do an experiment, because we're here for a while, and I don't know where the wife's gone. I'm going to turn this off for a second. I'm going to try and swap the cap over from my XGX. You've probably seen these. If I, I can't think who's by. I know it's by Daub or something, because they've got the, the paw print. Can you see that? So I'm going to try and see if it'll fit in this one. If you give us a sec. I've turned it off. So I can get this cap off without burning myself. I don't know if anybody's interested in this, but I thought I'd give it a go. This might be fun. How's it fit? Oh, I see. It's quite a good. I might let it cool down for a bit. Not the easiest thing to get off. Well, you've got different ones for this. Uh, whether it makes a big difference, I don't know. I don't even know if it'll light up straight away because it's still hot. So we'll give it a go. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Pause that for a sec. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Like the top, not the bottom. Now that's quiet, and this is the same cap which I've just took out of the XGK. Is it XG? No, oh, whatever. I can never remember. Now that's the difference. Now, whether it's, a, I don't think it's the same cap, I think it's slightly different. I think the cap in the XG, XGK sits higher. get the uh, furry back on. That's a lot quieter. So I might order one for it, I think. That's a lot, lot quieter. I don't know what the flame's spreading like, but... I'm going to have a look at that underneath. Right by, quiet, let's just turn it down a bit. And she's still simmering nicely. And very quiet. Wow, what a difference. What a difference the cap makes. And it's still simmering beautifully. So the cap does make a bit of a difference by the look of it. Seems to disperse the heat better as well. It seems, do I buy one or I just swap between these two? Let's see how low I can go. That's pretty cool. And we're still simmering beautifully. Brilliant. And it's quiet. You can actually hear me now. And that's full. It's fully on. Yeah, I have to order a cap, I think.
Okay, conclusion. I'm not saying that the cap fits perfectly. I'm not saying that the cap from the XGX or the XGK, I can't remember what it's called, but you know which one I mean. I can't swear that the cap from this one, which does fit in here quite nicely, and it fits on that okay, is a perfect fit. But what it does prove is that the, the um, door cap does actually quiet the stove down considerably, a considerable amount. So definitely well worth the purchase. And no, I don't work for them. I know nothing to do with them. I just thought they're brilliant. And I'll be keeping both stoves, I think. I mean, that is on full now, and she's quiet. You can actually hear me. And I've got simmer capability as well. But I think the actual cap needs to sit a little bit higher. As you can see, it's just a little bit... There you go. But it's simmering beautifully. It's all around the edge, so... Yeah, hope this video helps anybody in uh, choosing which stove to get. Um, they're all brilliant by MSR. Um, I need the similar cap capabilities, but with quietness. So I think I'll buy a cap for this. I like the stand. Mind you, this is the same. This is brilliant wide stand. Mm, tricky one. The only trouble is I've got no... You can't... You can... They reckon you can simmer with it, but... Using it straight from the bottle, well, I find that quite difficult to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. I forgot to say, by the way, it's by Bernie Dog. It's still going. It's been simmering for ages. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to disconnect to see how much fuel's left. Hold on one sec. Okay, so it's about, how can I put this with it? There's the fuel mark there, we're about here. So we've used probably just over half. And that's been on for quite some time. The cap's not the best to fit, but it makes a hell of a difference. Um, and quiet as well. So I'll just let him cool down. No, he ain't coming out any time, so curry's ready um so there you go by bernie dog i think it's by it is if i'm wrong i do apologize but it is bernie dog because the cap has got that little paw on the top thanks again for watching cheers